Welcome. It's the 8th of September, 2023. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Uh, topics I've got on the list for today, Google Summer of Code, Plugin Bill of Materials version selection, Java and Jenkins, and existing requirements, support policy, and DevOps World Tour. This one's actually done in terms of a blog post. Anything else, Chris, that you want to add to the list? Mm, nope. Okay. All right. Well, so then let's look at, doc at Google Summer of Code first. So Docker Compose, as far as I can tell, uh, this will need to, this will be, it's complete as a project, needs more work to de deploy and include in the documentation because we need uh, container images yep. and a rep containers and a repository to host those containers and jobs to maintain them, All right? Jenkins jobs to maintain them. And those need the infra team and uh, we can hope during Hacktoberfest. I don't think we're going to get them in September because we've got so many other things the infra's, infra's doing. On version documentation, this one is still in progress, right? Still developing. Uh, yep. So we soon decided to twin for the block. So to use just Jack, uh, Gatsby. Okay, say that again. Um. So uh, before, we we're, were considering using a Strapi backend for... Oh, for right. The but we've given uh we've we've abandoned that fine so we now we're just going to use Gatsby as front end good okay yeah and github for review very good okay so i'm just going to say it that way use gats using gatsby as the front end and github for review Good. Okay. Anything else that I, I had seen a pull request coming through? Pull requests are still arriving. Um, yep. I saw one with the blog post layout. Yeah, this this morning. So I review it. I edited it. I add the commits to it to update the the, the columns for the, for the layout. And um, I think we are on track to complete it in a few weeks. Very good. Any other things that you want to highlight or should, is is it something you want to, we would like to show us, we want to show it on screen or anything like that? Maybe not for now, because we're, we're still developing it. The, the, the okay. All right. right. Yep. Good. All right. Anything else on version documentation? Um, also the entire side on the entire side, like the, I think, I think, um, from what Vendu told me, I didn't check. Uh, he said, uh, he has like fixed most of the book and links. Also for, for, for the drop down menu above, but, um, we, we can check now if you still feel like, but, um, that's great. I, and I'm happy to, happy to check. We could do a test drive. Is it available on a on a site that we could go look at it from here? And if not, I'm okay if we if we say no, we're not going to do it. It's the same link we we have before. So if ah, you stick okay. it in a document somewhere, so it should be there. right. So now I just need to scroll a little bit and let's go find it. Oh, it's in my it's in an archive. Hang on, I yeah. think. We have to go back one. Okay. Demo site. There it is. Okay, good. We'll just put that right into the page that we've currently got. Okay.
Okay, and so some examples of first things first, let's switch to a, so if I remember right, previously he had versioning, yes, there we go, for a 2.401.3. Yeah. Okay, so here we see version, and now in terms of broken links, do you have a recollection where they were? There are certainly plenty of links. This one, there, there were some broken links before. So most of the menu menu bar items um, are broken. Uh, top navigation. So ah, uh, uh, so this one, for instance, got oh, it. Working. <laughs> okay, still working. Okay, I need to push them a little bit more then, because he told me is they're fixed. Fixed. Well, and, and maybe they're fixed and just not deployed to the to the GitHub the GitHub Pages site. Yeah, maybe. Because what Moi told me is like, except for a few pages that has that uh, have not been developed yet. Motion. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's these that. Well, no, none. Of, hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe they're not done yet because like, they're part of the website, but uh, I'll right. change. Yeah. But the navigation, so the things that were broken were from the top level here, not from inside the pages. The in-page oh. navigation links seem to work just fine. Yeah, some, some like some of the links were broken before. They, they ah. left on the side. But they should be working now. Okay, yeah. So and in in-page navigation, so the the chapter to chapter navigation seems to be working. Yeah, I think it's like Smoza. Okay, so that's an internal one that's not working. All right, so, oh, right, because that was a link to the security pages, which are over here, and security is a different thing, right? That one is not a version site at all. That'd be a Gatsby thing. Gatsby thing, yeah. Nice. I, I find the layout very pleasant. This is This is looking really, really good. Yeah. And it feels quite responsive coming from GitHub pages. So I don't don't feel like there's any any there's certainly no content generation when I'm when I'm viewing the page. Right, these are just static pages. Yeah, well, we may uh, we may still need to fix the the event page because like um the 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 event item so like that would be a maybe a lower left hand corner. So so which one? This one? Events events ah here we go this one i mean it's done yet the major events so we have to work on that the calendar right. is working. so this the one yeah. got it but but the google calendar is embedded as expected okay yeah yeah so this card based layout isn't there yet hmm and that, that thing's nice. like like for now is to high coder the data but we have to fetch it somehow from the database or from from the like um okay yeah and it looks like the books layout looks quite good nice yeah. yeah okay this one so should we should we redo it should we do it so it's like it it, it follows what we have right now because i i'm not sure we should do it this way see i i like i like the layout of the current page better for yeah. that one personally now i'm i'm open to other people's feedback for, but for me this one I find more readable. I think so too, yeah. That that then they ask him to to revert the change. Now is the artwork page okay, so the artwork page isn't isn't working yet either. No. It fix it. This this looks like great progress though, Chris. Really impressive. Yeah. Uh, let's see, about artwork. Yeah, and that's let's do it this way. Jake. Uh, okay it the not yet so that that artwork is definitely not there yet yeah so i have to ask him great and the blog was the one he was working on and yeah. so is it is it under the same location still node 
I don't no. think so. I think, I think we're going to move it to the blog. So, like, he, he can just direct it to blog dot, like, Jenkins.io, maybe. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Very good. And success stories still, still should navigate there. And that one, yeah, we're 404. Hang on, let's get it to the spot where it's here. No, okay. There we are. Nice. Anything else you'd like to highlight here? Um, it's we we I I think we still need to um to work on the like perfecting it. So it takes the the thing is I, I'm kind of worried about like we may take a bit longer. Oh, uh, I I am I am confident we will because. We certainly can't we can't replace the site without having the top menus working without security there, et cetera. I mean, we've got we there are lots of more things to do, but this is really amazing progress in terms of what we see, right? I mean, the, the navigation is so much better than this, right? I, I don't Vandi did a great job on this navigation as well, but I find this much more pleasant. Yeah, me too. Well, and and it's not introducing. Okay, so on the large ones, it does give us a scroll bar, and we get uh, the version choices. Nice. Yep. Very good. Anything else that we should show there? Nope. Okay. Good. All right. Then the next one was GitLab plugin modernization. I still need need to do the testing. Next week I'm at DevOps World, so there's a risk that I won't get to it until the following week. Let's okay. make a note here of that. Meeting canceled for next week. DevOps World Tour in New York. Great. Yep. Anything else on Google Summer of Code? Um, oh, final presentation September 14, right? Uh, yeah, next Thursday. Great. Okay. How about a plugin health school project? Should we talk a bit about it? Or? Sure. Yeah. Let's, we can. So, are there things that you'd like to highlight there? Um, so we got two blog posts PRs from um, Jquity and one was merged, even though like some updates it's necessary because like um, we got some reviews after it was merged. Okay, and the merged pull request, does it need changes based on the feedback? Yep, because the feedback came a bit late. Okay. Why, yeah. Great. All right. Yep. Anything else you want to highlight there? Um, not much. It seems like they are doing all right. So, because like Adrian just, just came back from the holidays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So choosing a plugin bill of materials version, I don't have any progress from last week and uh, none expected for two to four weeks due to other priorities, right? I'd rather test the GitLab plugin first and other things are even higher priority than that. Okay. Now, I've got this topic here that if you're willing to go through it with me, I'd love to, to bring up a, a, a diagram with you and talk about the diagram. Are you okay if we spend some time on Java support? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's this diagram that I've created trying to help me visualize Java support in Jenkins. Yep. 
So let's go bigger on this so that it's more readable. So the, the concept here is that we want to get to a model where we do two years. So Java releases are now coming out every two years and they have a support lifespan of six years. So the proposal I'm I'm suggesting here, and I'll be discussing it with the Jenkins board, Jenkins officers, and then with the developers list and the user list, is that we switch, we work towards a model of two plus two plus two, where the first two is two years of two years of support the Java version, but not make it the minimum Java version required. So let's see, I need to change this wording. Daniel Beck suggested different wording. I think it was Java 11, oh, right, right. Java 11 or newer, or let's do it this way. Java 17 required. Okay. And this one is Java 17 or Java 21 required. And this one is Java 21 or Java 25 required. This one is Java 25 or Java 29 required. So do you see the pattern there? It's two yep. years supported, but not required, not mandatory. Then two years when it becomes the mandatory version and 20, 33 required there we go and then two years where it's not supported so the last two years of a java version's life we would we would have dropped support like we did with java 8 even before it reached end of end of support for java itself because we don't want to carry the burden of always supporting three java versions there will be transition periods on these edges where we would probably support three java versions for a period but in general keep it simple with a primary java version and its next version getting ready and rotate that every two years does now the idea then is one year before we make it required we announce with an administrative monitor that hey we're going to make it required. Okay, makes sense. Does and now the the other complexity here is we've got to do a transition period. So right now we're in September of 2023, right? Where here we are in this six month window, yep. and in that six month window, we will in October in turn switch on the administrative monitor warning about the end of life of java 11 then the proposal is we will in one year from then so about september or october of 2024 we will switch over and require 17 and support java 21 okay and then now the 17 lifespan, we will limit to one year rather than two years so that we can make the transition towards this 2 2, two model. So with Java 17, it'll only be required for 12 months. Java 21, it'll be required for 18 months. And then when we finally get to 25, whoops, 25, it will be required for 24 months. Okay, makes sense. And now we're on cadence, 24 months, 24 months, et cetera. Any, okay. any concerns or worries about, hey, that idea? Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of concerned about like for Java 17 and the Java 21, the, the, like the, the boot period, the Java require period is a bit short. Um, that, that's okay. I, and, and I agree. This one, this one, one of the things that had been suggested by Uli Hoffner was he suggested why why don't we just skip java 17 and jump right to java 21 and my answer is i need to have this java 17 transition period because enterprise customers need to transition through java 17 particularly with enterprise customers of my employer cloudbees yeah, so I mean, because we contribute a bunch of developers i need that help okay i think i think we should keep java 17 too 
Good. All right. Any other any other comments or concerns? Mm, no, just just that that was my concern. Great. Okay. All right. Well, that one, and I'll be bringing the topic to others for further discussion to see. Okay, what 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 other concerns are there about this idea? That's all that I had for today. Anything else from you, Chris? Um, not much, no. Okay, then I'd propose let's call it done. I've got some diagnosis I need to do. I'll show you the diagnosis problem I've got to start diagnosing. Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't need to be done during our time here. James Nord opened a help desk request uh, back at the end of June. And he re he opened a new one saying the same thing okay. that hey this the extensions index here is missing many many extension points mm -hmm. and it's it's this is jenkins core and jenkins plugins providing these extension points and the problem is tied to this tool the backend extension indexer whose ci job is currently broken oh Okay. And not only is it CI job broken, but it's there's something even before the job was broken that was not generating correctly. So so there's research that needs to be done here to understand when did this break? Why did it break? What what do we need to do to fix it? We had okay. a similar problem with the pipeline steps doc generator and yeah. ended up writing some tests that found the problem and safeguarded us until we could fix it. Okay. I remember that one. Right, exactly. And and, and th actually that was one that I think Vandit helped us with. No, 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 it wasn't Vandit. It was last year's GSOC student that helped Vihan. us with it. I think it's Vihan. Right, right, it was Vihan Thora. Thank you, yes. Yeah. All right, so any other topics for today? Um, no. Okay, let's call ourselves done then. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you.